Hey there. Welcome to the first episode of Real Robots. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Will. Welcome to Real Robots. First thing we're going to do on the show is explore the inspiration for the first build for the show. Let's take a look. The other day I was making a list of all the robots I'd like to do for the show, and I happened to come across this old photograph of a charcoal drawing that I did probably 25 years ago. It's a Star Wars inspired bartender, and I thought that would be an amazing first robot to do for the show. Let's start by exploring the techniques that I use to design and construct robots. I begin with lots and lots of little sketches on paper, like notes about how a system might work. Next, I fire up a 3D design program called ZBrush. I will go through several design ideas like these heads until I feel that I found the form. In this case, I kept leaning towards a more Star Wars look, kind of like a blend between the C-3PO and K-2SO. Once I finish up with the ZBrush design, I usually print up a small scale model. This is called a maquette. This allows me to take a look and see if there's any design changes that I want to make before I actually go to 3D printing. Once you 3D print, you've committed yourself and you're going to lose time and material reprinting. And nobody wants that. Once I'm happy with the overall appearance of the robot, it's time to start 3D printing up these parts. I just didn't have a printer big enough to do these parts, so I ended up buying a Creality Max and printing all these parts in PETG. They ended up warping, and I had a few other problems, which I'll go into in a future video. I think they're going to work for this. Got a lot of stuff to fix, but it's not a big deal. With those panels completed, it's time to move on to the frame. The frame is the single most important part of the robot. We need to make sure it's structurally sound. So I ended up building most of the design around 2020 extrusion and also some laser cut parts I had made. And hopefully, when we get it all assembled, we'll have the torso moving by the end of this episode. Let's get to it. This completes the upper torso frame construction, so we're going to move on. Next thing we'd like to do is take the 3D printed parts and tape them to the exterior to make sure that they square up nicely with the frame. And if they do, then we'll move on to the lower leg section. All right, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Panels fit really nice on the frame. I was a little worried because of the warpage from the PETG prints. So we're gonna move on and do the leg section. So let's get started. Okay, we finished the leg section. So now what we're gonna do is combine the upper torso and the leg section together using this Rockler bearing. The inner sleeve is gonna be connected to a hub that's connected to the motor. That will be connected to the upper torso. Then the outer racing will be connected to the leg section. Then we'll have a motor connected to that and hopefully with enough torque, we're gonna to be able to rotate the upper torso left and right. Let's get to it. Okay, we're down here so we can take a look at the motor, the controller, and the power supply. 
gear motor that connects to a H bridge so that you can control it with RC control. And then that goes down to a controller that's outputting our signal for us. The Iotani by Easy Robots. We're just using this board for testing purposes only. We'll use the larger version, the Easy B, for the final robot. But this is great for testing. This is a means well 12 volt power supply, going around 40 amps. Let's hook it up and see if it moves. works. All right, that's it for this week's episode. Join me on the next one where we're going to continue on with the body panels, filling and sanding these, getting them ready for some primer. And then we're going to work on the head and neck, which for me is the most exciting part of the build. This is where the personality of the robot really starts to shine through. Super excited about that. So don't miss that episode. If you enjoyed today's show, why don't you consider subscribing and hitting that like button for the video. You can also support me on Patreon. The links are in the description below. I'll see you on the next episode of Real Robots.